What's going on guys, it's Rylan with Rylan's Amazing Photography and welcome to today's video where I am looking at and reacting to the weirdest photos ever taken. This should be a pretty interesting video, however, before I get into today's video, I want to remind you guys to go down below and like today's video. While you're down there, you might as well go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Rylan's Amazing Photography and I also have a Facebook page that you can find by searching Rylan's Amazing Photography in the search bar. I'm also on Twitter, so you can also follow me on there at Rollins photos yeah um that's everything i got still don't have that big announcement it's still not arrived it's still not available for purchase and um it might have some very good reading well hopefully i didn't spoil anything or give you any ideas Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video where I am reacting to the world's weirdest photos. First thing is first, these photos are not mine. I didn't take these. Um, they're weird. The link to the website where I found these photos are down below. On that website, there is um, photo credit to the photographer's best I'm aware of. So, this first photo is rather strange. There's a guy in a tuxedo um, giving a very weird smile. He said... And um, behind him, there's three police officers and what looks like a UPS driver. And to the right, it looks like, I think, a UPS video that's just, like, fell into a fence and almost went into a river, I think is what that is. And for some reason, the guy in the tux is holding a sewing machine. And um, I don't know what, I, I don't even know how to begin what happened. Um... I'm so confused. <laughs> how did... My main concern is how did that truck get there? It looks like he just backed it up down in there. It looks like it was done on purpose. And then there's three cops standing there talking to him. And then there's this guy who's just there holding a sewing machine. I don't understand. Um, next photo. <laughs> this amuses me very much. Um, it's just three tigers chilling in a bowl of water. Not a bowl, but like a tub of water. I, I'm not sure if this... I, I don't think this is in a zoo. I think this is just like out in the wild. It looks like someone just stepped out on their back porch or something or walked out the back of their home where they have this big tub of water for probably cattle or something to drink out of would be my guess and they went out there and there's just three tigers chilling in it looks like they're having a nice conversation i bet they're very relaxed i would be relaxed if i was in that tub of water but not with the tigers that would be scary so <laughs> this photo um it looks like, oh dear. I... <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I said, I said, oh dear. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there is a person here who is celebrating something with this deer. The deer is standing on the bed, and this person's giving it a hug. Um, the deer has a bandana around its neck. Um, it looks like it's got some a bowl of food on the bed. I'm not sure what that is, but I find it very iconic that they have like a painting of this deer on the wall. <laughs> that actually cracks me up. I'm not. It's like the deer is posing for this photo, but the human isn't. And he's also got his face on the wall. That would make me uncomfortable if I was that deer. I, he looks scared. Like, his ears are back. He's like, why am I here? Well, she. I, I think that's a doe. But anyways, um, yeah. That's interesting. Oh, dear. <laughs> Next photo. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that must be tragic. That poor tiger. It looks like they're at a zoo, and um, I'm not sure if the person who is in that costume got hurt, or if they're just kind of wanting to make this funny photo of them carrying a tiger, a human in a tiger on a stretcher in front of a tiger like exhibit. Um, the tiger is not amused. He looks very scared. 
Um, because his brother is being carried out on a stretcher. Poor guy. I feel kind of bad for him. He's just staring through the window lock. Yeah. Um, anyways, next photo. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that looks painful. Oh, jeez. How did he do that? How do you even do that? Like, how do you... Ooh. I don't even want to look at that anymore. I'm done. Next photo. What is happening? Well, I don't... Well, I... Who... I don't... What? They're, they're, it looks like it's important people of like that country, like maybe their president or prince or something is signing an important document and then there's just these three people standing over them in weird costumes. I'm not sure what's going on in this photo. I'm not sure what's going on in any of these photos. But this one in particular, yeah, um, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Let's get this bread. <laughs> oh, gosh, that wasn't funny. I'm sorry. Anyways, in this photo, there is a man who has glued bread to his entire body, and there's seagulls about to attack him. I'll low-key want to try this the next time I go to the beach. This looks like... This has got to be the most fun that this man's ever had. Look at him. He's like, Come and get me, birds. Yeah. This is rather interesting to me. Um, this guy is what I would... I'm from Kentucky, so this guy is what we would call a city boy idiot. Who tapes or glues or puts bread on their entire body and then goes out and stands on a beach? When those seagulls get to him, they're going to rip him apart. Is this photo hilarious? Yes, but that man, oh no, that's terrifying. Next photo. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure what to say. I feel like this photo um, explains itself. <laughs> Next picture. I love this photo. <laughs> I think this is my favorite yet. <laughs> There's a man. <laughs> sitting in a Christmas sweater in the middle of a pug in a Christmas sweater who looks like he does not want to be there holding a doll that he's like acting like is his child and he has his arm around the pug and his arm around this is like a family portrait but I well done just I feel like we all should stop and give a round of applause to this person they have my support. <laughs> this is a, this, oh no! Oh no! This is hilarious. So there's there's a lady on an electric scooter. Um, it's an older couple. It looks like it looks like they're at some kind of maybe amusement park or shopping outlets or something. And the guy is riding like one of those horses. That like little kids ride kind of like those machines that'll rock you back and forth in the horse. He's riding on one of those <laughs> while his wife is pulling him on the scooter and he has a whip in his hand. <laughs> so if she's going <laughs> If she's going too slow, he'll take the whip and I'll go Oh no. That's <laughs> that's funny. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's funny. Why do I feel like this is my reaction to every single photo? Um, there's a man in a car who's sharing a piece of bread with what looks like a bison. He has part of the bread in his mouth. The bison has part of the bread in its mouth. And I guess they're gonna eat and meet in the middle. It's really stupid. You go to a national park, which is where I'm assuming this guy's at. I don't recommend doing that. Yeah. So, finally. We have this legendary photo of a dog sitting alone 
with a glass of white wine at a bar. He looks sad. So, Mr. Dog, if you're out there, don't be sad. Be happy. He looks like he's had a few cigarettes as well. I think that's like a cigarette. That looks like an ashtray beside, beside his glass of wine. He, he looks sad. Poor dog. He, it's late, too. He's there because he's sad. That poor dog. That dog is in my thoughts. Well, folks, that's all I got for today's video on reacting to the world's weirdest photos. That certainly gave me a very good laugh today, and those are the weirdest photos that I've truly ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen some pretty weird photos, including weird photos of myself. But, like, I think that tops everything that I've ever seen and ever known. That was just... Those were so weird and just... Different. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Um, if you like this, um, leave a comment, like the video, I'll do a part two if you enjoyed this, and we'll make this a little series of photog of a photographer um, reacting to the world's weirdest photos. So I thought that this was a unique kind of video and an interesting thing. Um, I had a blast filming it. It was very enjoyable. I really enjoyed filming this video, as if I'm... I, that was like one of those essays where you have to meet like the 500 word deadline, so you just like restate yourself all the time. Anyways, that's all I got for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go down below and like the video and subscribe. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you guys Thursday, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.